everybody knows bacteria. Some of them are good and some of them are bad. It's similar with viruses. They are usually associated with illnesses, but actually most of them are good viruses, which could help us fight dangerous bacteria. Known as bacteriophages, these viruses attack only bacteria instead of humans. Every bacterium on Earth possesses hundreds of specific bacteriophages, which infect only this bacterium. Bacteriophages usually look like small capsules with spider legs containing genetic material. Their legs, which are part of the tail, consist of special proteins, acting like keys opening bacteria cells. After opening up a bacterium, the bacteriophage injects its own genetic material into it and then takes control over its mechanisms, forcing it to produce more bacteriophages. After some time, when there are already many new virus particles inside the bacterium, the bacterium is ripped apart and dies, setting free new bacteriophages capable of infecting new bacteria. In the face of growing antimicrobial resistance, bacteriophages become a hope for the future. It is estimated that in 30 years, the number of deaths caused by antimicrobial resistant infections could reach 8 million per year. Thanks to their ability to quickly kill bacteria, the good viruses can prove an effective weapon against resistant bacteria. An important feature of bacteriophages is their ability to exchange genes, allowing them to create mosaic compositions in order to adapt to fast-evolving bacteria. The team of Dr. Rafał Mostowy from the Jagiellonian University Małopolska Center of Biotechnology studies this mosaic-like character of bacteriophages' DNA sequences. This allows for the creation of instructions for putting together brand new bacteriophages directed against any strain of bacteria, eliminating bad or antimicrobial resistant bacteria without any harm to natural bacterial flora. Good viruses are the future of the fight against antimicrobial resistance. Investing in research in this area is a sound investment in health and safety and supporting scientists working out new biotechnologies can lead to the development of effective therapies saving millions of lives.